In this video, I want to show you how you can bring more flexibility and user friendliness in your project finance models by using toggles and switches. One of the main pillars of a standard financial model is flexibility. And one of the main characteristics of a great financial modeler is also flexibility. Let's have a look at the meaning of flexibility in the dictionary. As per the Cambridge Dictionary, flexibility means able to change. Therefore, a financial model should be capable of adapting to different changes and requirements. And another aspect of a good model is user friendliness. With the help of toggles and switches, you can allow your user to flex some of the base case assumptions easily with a click. In this video, I will look at the financial modeling of binary options. Step one, formulate the options that you think should be tested in the model. Before submitting the model to your team or client, you want to consider things that need to be flexed at every project state. Here are a couple of examples. Is interest during construction paid or capitalized? Is interest subject to withholding tax? Is tariff escalated? I will use the example of tariff escalation here. Let's say we are negotiating the purchase agreement and we want to test the impact of having a flat tariff or an escalated tariff. Step two, define the inputs. You must modify your inputs and include the switch in your input sheet. In my tariff example, I want to define a time-based escalation rate and include the option to keep the tariff fixed so the escalation rate will be zero. Step three, now that I have the input, I need to link it to my calculation. In my example, I have already calculated the tariff escalation index in my revenue sheet. I just tweak the formula so that if this switch is set to false, the tariff is kept flat. And if the switch is set to true, then the tariff will be escalated. Okay, now let's test it. If the switch is false, meaning that the tariff is flat, we have an equity IRR of 14.5%. If I set the switch to true, then you see that the tariff is escalated and my equity IRR is around 19%. So the switch is working and we brought the flexibility into our model. Now, what we need to do is to bring the user friendliness. Next step is to create an actual checkbox to bring in the user friendliness. For that, under the developer tab, you can insert a checkbox. You can change the text and formulate it to know what the switch represents. In my case, it's going to be a tariff escalation switch. Next step is to link the input to the option button. Now you just need to right click on the checkbox and establish the link. One thing to keep in mind is that you will most probably import this button to other sheets. So the cell address should contain the worksheet name. For this, you need to do what Professor Edward Bodmer calls the crisscross and I call it zigzag. You need to click on the cell link under format control and then go to another sheet and come back to the sheet where you have the button and then click on the input cell. You can now import the button in your summary sheet or dashboard. If you need to run any macros while changing the switch, you need to simply insert the macros that you want to run on the button by right clicking on the button and inserting your desired macros. So make sure that you go through the same process every time that you are preparing a new model version or you are preparing for a meeting so that you can customize your dashboard and your summary sheet for a subject matter that will be discussed during a particular meeting or a discussion.